Okay, we're here today at the Cadalton Open Source Sustainability Day and I'm here to talk about uh, sustainable fertilizer use and soil fertility. So, basically what we're discussing here is to develop a nutrient management plan uh, as a basis of soil fertility uh, for the dairy farm. Um, the first thing that we need to look at is um, taking soil samples and utilizing those soil samples in a nutrient management plan to decide when and where I put my fertilizers over the year. We need to match fertilizer with grass growth uh, over the year so um, from what you do from January is going to be very different from what you do mid-season from what you do in the back end uh, over the year. Um, other things to think about here in terms of uh, soil pea buildup we need to build up soils and put that phosphorus on uh, early in the year, whereas in terms of building up uh, soil potash levels, we put that on later in the year to reduce incidence of, of grass tetany, etc. Other things to think about here in terms of lime, we know that uh, lime status nationally is very, very low, and uh, the back end of the year when soils are firm and we get good washing over the winter is a good time to put on uh, lime. If we think about uh, matching offtakes, um, we need to know uh, how much we're taking off to match with what we want to put back on to replace uh, that uh, fertilizer. So as the stocking rate increase, the P and the K offtake also increases. Uh, the other thing to, to think about is uh, silage versus grazing will have different offtakes. If we think about surplus bales being taken out of the of the of grazing paddocks at the moment, they're going to shift somewhere in the region of 12 kilograms of P and about 75 kilograms of K and need to be followed either with the slurry tanker or the compound fertilizer. Slurry, a very valuable uh, resource, a thousand gallons of slurry uh, of thick slurry is worth uh, 9 kilograms of N, 6 kilograms of P and 36 kilograms of K versus dilute slurry which is much less in terms of nutrient concentration. Overall, by increasing soil fertility, you'll grow more grass and you'll get a return on investment of about 4 euros to every 1 euro spent in terms of fertilizer. However, it's very important that we do utilize that extra grass by increasing stocking rate or reducing concentrate feed. Take home messages, soil test and develop a plan for the whole farm. Aim to replace the nutrient offtakes uh, that you're re re removing in milk and meat at least. And then if you have extra cash flow, use that for build up. And then th most importantly, utilize the cheapest source of nutrients that you have on the farm in terms of the slurry tanker and put that where you have the highest requirements for P and K.